All right, so how do you use subaligner with infire arrays? So Adam says, I have a question regarding how gradient and infire subarrays work using subaligner. Firstly, would you still include each individual subwoofer in the total box count field? Yes, you would. We wanna know everything in the room, every speaker in the room that is making a significant contribution to the low mid region. That definitely includes all of these subwoofers. Secondly, in terms of total output delay, would you then add this final delay to each subwoofer independently? Yeah, so the way I would handle it is I would just set up this array first, you know, so in an infire array, you are taking, taking each of these guys and you're de delaying this guy back to number one, this guy back to number one, and this guy back to number one. So the origin is here, and that is the name of the game when it comes to using the relative absolute method and using subaligner, is we need to figure out where's the acoustic center, where do the uh, sound waves appear to be emanating from when you are standing at the alignment position. And so when you're at this alignment position, the sound is going to be appearing to come from this position because all of these subs are getting delayed back to that first position. Now, typically, if you have subs on the ground and mains in the air, then your subs are going to end up getting delayed back a little bit so that, you know, this center position here, the alignment, the combination between main and sub ends up getting pointed down towards your alignment position. But that's not always the case. So a couple of strategies. Number one, in your output DSP, you might be able to link all of your channels. That way, if you have to change everything together, um, like you can see here, I can change these all relatively together. So I set this to zero, and all of these other ones are just at the same time. So I maintain that relationship from my entire array. Or um, if you don't know which is going to get delayed, main or sub, you can always start by adding um, some amount of delay. So let's say that I'll start off with 10 milliseconds of delay in every output. And that way, if I need to add delay to my subs, if I didn't want to go down that route, I could just subtract delay from my main. So let's say I need to add five delay, five milliseconds of delay to my subs, but I don't want to do that because I have, you know, like 10 channels of delay going on with some sort of complicated array. Well, I could just subtract five milliseconds of delay and then at the end of the day, if I don't like any of that extra delay here, I could figure out what the excess is and subtract it from every channel. Uh, Adam says, could you also explain the process for a six element gradient array where two subwoofers are physically reversed and then polarity inverted? Yeah, so that's an inverted gradient stack. And I just did that in a previous video, Adam. So I will link to it below this video. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Let me know what questions come up for you.